Hello there, I hope you're having a nice day. Today we're going to talk about subtracting fractions that do not have what's called a common denominator. So if you have two fractions like these ones, where our bottoms of our fractions do not match, these are called our denominators. If they do not match, we have to change that before we can proceed. Now, we're looking at first something that is called a least common multiple. So we are looking for numbers that both 4 and 6 will divide evenly into. So if we look at the number 4 and we just start writing down 4, 8, 12, 16, just numbers that are um, multiples of 4. And then if we multiply, or if we look at 6's, excuse me, 6, 12, 18, the least multiple that they have in common is 12. Now there's another way to find it. If you have 4, that's 2 times 2, and you have 6, that's 3 times 2. They already have a 2 in common, but this one has an extra 2, and this one has an extra 3. So they already have a 2 in common. The 1 has an extra 2, the 1 has an extra 3. 2 times 2 times 3 is also 12. Now, the least common multiple is 12. So you have to think, how could I change those numbers into 12? Now, if you couldn't think of that least common multiple, if this is difficult for you, you can just find any multiple of 4 and 6. Easiest way to do that, 4 times 6. You can use 24 as well. But 12 is the better choice when you can so that you can get that smaller value. Okay, so let's look. How could we change that to a 12? Well, I need to multiply a 6 by 2, and whatever I multiply on the top, that little dot means multiplication, whatever I multiply on the top, I'm also going to multiply on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply there by 2, and I'm going to put a little multiplication dot here. And whatever I multiply on the bottom, so 4 uh, goes into 12 three times, so I need a 3, I also have to multiply on the top. So let's go ahead and change this. So this fraction, the top is going to be 9 over 12. This fraction, the top is going to be 2 over 12. So now I got that they match. So that's awesome. So now we proceed like we do for any fractions. We are going to keep the denominator. That The de denominators are our bottom number. We're just going to subtract the top. 9 minus 2 is Seven. So our answer is 7 twelfths. So that's how you subtract fractions that have unlike denominators. I hope that helps. If you like this video, please hit like and please share it. Or if you want to subscribe to my channel for more videos, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Have a good one.